Hey, what's up everyone? Thunderbob here, and tonight I'm checking out Fury of Dracula. This is a board game I've played, I think, once in my life. Maybe not even a full game, but we tried this once, and uh, I'm a sucker for board games, and uh, I was given a uh, free key from the developer to check this out, so let's go ahead and give it a try. I get this out. The animations and stuff are actually pretty good for a board game. Like, watch when it slides out. That's pretty cool. A lot of the time these board games are like bare minimum just to kind of make it work, but the presentation here is pretty nice. And something I read um, is currently you can do local play, either you and an AI or uh, you and four friends, but the online multiplayer you know, is limited to one versus one, which is basically useless in this game from my understanding. Like, it's just not a great experience. Okay, so you can either play as Dracula or you need real people. I guess I'm gonna be Dracula. Yeah, I don't know what all that stuff does. We'll just leave it at default for the moment. Okay. Start a uh, starting city for Dracula. So th these are where the hunters are on the map, it appears, right? And probably Helsing. Uh, I feel like, like maybe Spain would be a good starting point, kind of far away from everyone. They're trying to like hunt me down. I'm probably going to lose this because I really don't remember all the nuances to this. I'm actually... the game I've played quite a bit that's like this is Whitechapel, where one person is um, the... Uh, There's actually Letters from Whitechapel. It's a uh, game where one player plays as Jack the Ripper and the remaining players all play as, uh, you know, the people hunting down Jack the Ripper. It's a really cool, cool game. This is the game clock which shows what current phase you're playing. Okay. The phases are Dawn, Day, Dusk, Night, and Dracula phase. The Day and Night phases are the only phase in which the hunters may take action. During the Dawn and Dusk, the hunters fight with Dracula if he's revealed. Dracula pays is Dracula's turn. Alright. He's receiving. Which is the one that's closest to me on the map? I wish I could go back and see the map. It wasn't Van Helsing or the girl. Let's see, it was him. Yeah. Cool. So... have any cards around him, I guess. These type of games take a long time sometimes to set up, which is nice for the uh, digital versions. 
Oh, there's no one adjacent to my... Okay. There's a couple board games I've bought over the years and I've never got to play. Like, I have the Firefly board game. I actually have a pretty extensive collection of board games. And we tried Firefly and it was like a 90 minute setup process into like a 4 hour game that we never finished. It's very cool, but it is a very lengthy experience. Okay. So now it is... Dracula's turn. Let's see, got my cards. I don't want to get too close. I'm not sure how to scroll the screen. WAC doesn't seem to do it. So from what I remember, you do have to move with Dracula every turn, and basically they are trying to track you down. Uh, and you can't return to a space you've already been to. So you're kind of like leaving a trail for the hunters. So I think I'll go up here, because I don't want to get trapped down here. Hunters become delayed, return their cards face up to the spider, and most hunters reveal a pistol or a rifle. Two damage. Time Dracula moves a new to a new location. The card is added to the first spot on the trial with an encounter card. Okay. The first slot is always Dracula's current position on the map to find him. You must follow his trail. So like I basically move, I use a special, and then finish turn. what the red symbolizes. Did she get bit? Play immediately or at the end of turn. Place three or block tokens on the board. Hunters cannot move using a road or railway that has a road block. Sure. I feel like these longer tracks are kind of nice, and I can prevent them from getting kind of down. I'm over here, like I could kind of block. Hmm. It's kind of hard to get exactly where I want to click. stop them from going that direction. And I might be playing this horribly, it's been a long time since I've played this. Okay. 
If I was playing real players, they would probably see this and know that I'm trying to stop them from coming this direction. Like, this is just my cards. I don't think I can do these at any time. But when I'm at the end of my turn, I, like, leave a trap, kind of. So I want to move first. And then I'm, like, leaving kind of traps in my wake. Because I don't think there's any other real action Dracula can do. Probably should have gone with the Hunter, because then I could have played four. Though that might have slowed things down a fair bit, as I'm kind of a noob here. I'm curious how this works playing with real people locally. Do they hide Dracula's movements? Or are you supposed to just not look at the screen when he's taking a turn? I'm curious how that works. Well, I guess right now, I could use that as an example, like, Dracula's stuff's not on the board any longer. So it must be, like, the honor system. Come on, get some bad stuff. Cool. Place the three storm tokens on the board. Hunters cannot move into a C zone that had a storm token. I don't want him coming like over here. And he could probably use this as a shortcut. So it's almost like a counter spell, like a stopping that action. Uh oh. They know I started in Madrid, I think. Because this is like where I am currently. So they know I'm two spots away from Madrid. I guess this is, the question is how good is the AI? I'm gonna go this way and kind of like go up the coast. Now when the, to, to, get, to get down here, they're gonna have to cross a lot of my traps too. Let's leave some rats. I wish you could speed this up a little bit. I feel like there should be a... Doesn't seem to be. Like the animation and stuff, I don't need to see all of that when I'm playing against AI. Just when I need to take action would make sense. And it sounds like they are still planning on some changes to this, like... Uh, like I said at the beginning, online play is limited to one versus one, which I guess one person can control maybe all four of the hunters and, and it's not so bad, but the fun of this is like the interaction between the players. power. 
It's a lot of receiving going on. I feel like I'm gonna get destroyed this game. And you win this by moving this bar all the way up to 13 and I'm still at zero. Oh wait, can I choose to do a special instead of a move? Yeah, and I've got one. That's why that was grayed out before, is I only have one power. I probably won't hold on to that. I feel I'm gonna go up here and try to like run the coast as they're kind of looping around this way to Madrid, hopefully. They are kind of like trapping me in here a little bit. I can still do a special at this point. I want to hold on to that, I think, though. Uh-oh. I've only got so many moves. Because I'm coming up the coast here and go... Three... Three places? Oh... Might be a short game. I don't want him to potentially go out to sea over there. If you were in the same city as another hunter, force directly they tell you if he's in your region. Okay, that's why she's got the one bite token. to go away from me. Oh, crap. They know this is going to be the shortest game ever. Really, anywhere I move to is still going to be adjacent to him. kind of like, he's just going to guess, because I can't go backwards, I can go to one of these two spots. Can I go to his? I don't think I can. Oh. I wonder...
Oh, that was a bad idea, apparently. I was thinking that I would trick him because I was adjacent and then I wouldn't have been adjacent anymore. Apparently that was a bad idea. Alright. Well, mistakes were made. We can see what combat looks like. So I can just escape if I want. Let's do some damage. Van Helsing's only got 8 health. He kind of looks like Jack Nicholson from The Joker. It's nighttime, isn't it? Kill Van Helsing. He's all alone. The animations are actually pretty well done here. How come his health didn't go down though? I don't quite understand. Oh, he did the dodge, that's why. So I shouldn't have probably done the attack. Use plotting to cancel the hunter card. Sure. Nah, bitch, you're not getting away. I'm gonna kill Van Helsing. This was what I meant to do. Uh, but I think I only have escape cards left. I guess I could... plot again and get another attack. I don't think I'm gonna be able to quite kill him though. What's this button do? Oh, I think he escaped. I think I um, I might have come out on top, except they know exactly where I'm at, so the other three are going to be coming for me. I was thinking I could go this way. Maybe I could have, I didn't think about that. But now, I think I'll get trapped up there. Why are you going that way? You know I'm up there. Yeah, run away from me. I wonder if the storm prevents me from traveling by water. I didn't think about that. So they know where I am right now. I really wish I could just fast forward through their turns. So I could go up there. I wish I could move the camera around. The camera zoom button allows you selection of the camera zoom mode, which can be one of... Okay. When automatic mode, the camera will change based on the current. When zoomed in mode, the camera will remain close to the character. Okay. That's what I'm looking for. I think if I go up here, I still can't see because of this stupid... 
said, like, if I go up there, I think I'm trapped because I can't retrace my steps and I've been here. So I'm gonna have to, like, try to get around that Helsing, I think. I'm gonna leave some damage in case he comes this way. I still wish you could like zoom in and then like WASD or mouse around the map. It's kind of annoying that you're limited on the camera angle. I think I might end up playing this over two sessions, so I'll probably put up the first half tonight and then do another one uh, if there's interest in, you know, maybe this weekend. This is pretty fun, though. Uh, oh. They know where I am again. Shoot. Don't think, because that's where I'm at. Let's try to go. I think it was the wolves. That could kill Van Helsing if he comes here. Oh, okay. So when they get to the end of the track, that wow, that moved it by four. And the height is in the fourth, fifth, and sixth space of the trail. So they got to see where I was at at certain points. So now I went from 0 up to 4. If I get to 13, I win. Okay, that was, that's something new. So that's a good one. You can win with but 3 or 4 of those. That guy's getting close. They're all starting to circle me. That's not good. I gotta get out of there. This is exciting for a board game, kind of. I played a lot of board games. Like I should, I should post my uh, my board game collection. I got a bunch of the pandemics and expansions. I've got uh, uh, Flashpoint, a game where you play as a firefighter. That's really cool. Firefly. Um, let's just try to get out of there. Oh, a restored credit empire can advance it by four as well. Uh, you know, the trail at the house on the hill, and uh, trying to think of some good ones I got. I don't know, I just got a ton of board games. Carcassonne, and I'm looking at my shelf right now, actually. 
King of Tokyo, the wizard always wins. Uh, Walking Dead. I get a couple Walking Dead games, actually. I got a really bad World War Z game that came out and it's not good at all. But I got the Walking Dead one where it's like a board and, uh, and you're trying to avoid the zombies and collect certain safe zones. That's one of my favorites. I really need to get together with friends again to play. Since COVID started, we really haven't done any board game nights. Dang it. Stop rusting. I wonder what happens if I kill... Kill the hunters. Yeah, I'm gonna go here and then loop around. That looks like my castle. I wonder if that's uh, Transylvania. So I wonder how it counts. Is it one, two, three, four, five, six? So, so I don't want that like back to back with. Uh, The Sasanji mob. Come on, I'm just an old man, just leave me alone. Cool dudes. Ah, stop healing, jerks. I feel like I'd have more to do if I was playing as the hunters, but playing as the bad guy in these games is always fun. There's just not as much to do. You're kind of just moving and setting a trap. I wish they had them numbered up here because I'm not sure I think I got away. They're all searching over here still. Through roadblock tokens. I guess do it right now. I don't want them coming this way. So I want to block like the bigger pathways. I'm gonna try to go over here. If I don't have anything I can do, I should just move on. Okay. 
Let's try that. Maybe that'll make it move faster. Nope, I'm not. Stop healing. Budapest. I think the next time I'll have another card go through. took some damage. He's at five. That's good. I think there's a four damaging card somewhere over here. Stop getting train tickets, guys. Aren't these things supposed to activate at some point? Current attached to trail space 6. Uh, okay, so there's the numbering on them. Oh man, I didn't want aristocratic there. Because I want those to like move down and not get wiped out. These guys ain't gonna never find me now. Come on. Castle Dracula. So I moved it up to 8. What do I still have on the board? Fog. Okay, so when that gets down... Oh, you know, the 12. And then if I can get to see like a vampire or something, I can win. Actually, this might, might be a short game. Or I might get trapped over here, who knows. Because I'm still losing pathways I can take. That's a good one. That could win me the game, actually, if the Aristocrat goes off, and then... I really wish I could just fast-forward this a little bit. But they know where I've been, so they're... They're catching up to me. Nice. 
I don't want to play that until the track gets a little further down. Because I want... Let's see, I want this one to fire off. And when it does... The 4th, 5th, and 6th face of the trail get cleared out. Which would be... 4, 5, 6, right? Actually, 4, 5, 6. So I needed at least three down the line. So I think I could do it now. Oh, but they invoked my card, I think. Yeah. Oh, they're getting close. Crap, he can get to me. It's getting close. It's kind of like the color changed, it got a little fuzzy. I think it's supposed to represent, like, like the time change, maybe? Did they just find out where I'm at? back around. I'm not doing any damage until down here. Trap me. She might have, I think I'm in. Where am I at right now? Is there a Crap. The music is so epic, but all we're doing is clicking cards. Lord God, Godlming. <gasps> New vampire. I don't know what the discarding does. Combat. 
he looks like kind of an idiot. And she's infected, so... Come on. I feel like the art over here is kind of low pol like low resolution. Then I'm gonna lose my reckless vampire. There's no escape. Either I die or she dies. Oh, wait, did I counter that? I think I did. I'm gonna kill me in a harker. Wonder what that does to the tracker. Five, and I'm down to what two? One. Ouch. We're not looking so great. guy's pretty reckless. Dang it. She escaped. This is very complex. I would have a very hard time playing this, I feel like, on a regular board. Wait, am I fighting her again? Okay. I want to kill this this woman. She betrayed Dracula. Uh, I think she's gonna kill me. Oh wait, oh that heals me. I forgot. Nice. I'm gonna have a chance if I can get another fangs. She doesn't dodge. She's probably gonna dodge though. Oh. I think that'll kill me though. Unless the strength didn't have any kind of counter. Cover. So I don't have any damaging things. Are there only so many like rounds in this combat? Because it just kind of ended the last time. Should have done the plotting and grabbed a weapon. That might be it. If she doesn't dodge, I got her. <sighs> oh, no. I still... Did I kill her? I don't know what happens. Oh! Holy crap! That got me to 12 for killing her. 
Oh, so I can... Oh, he can't go to C. Oh, yeah, he can. Okay, cool. So if I can get one card across, I win. Um, you probably win if you kill all of the... Uh, all the hunters, too, I bet. I didn't want it there. Oh, well. Oh, she comes back. Well, that sucks. What do I got up here? Let me click it. That's bats. Reckless Vampire. So if Reckless Vampire reaches, I win. Damn it, she's back. So she's only out for like one turn. But I did get a hell of a lot of points for that. I think I got this game. Sometimes these games are hard to win as the... Like, the uh, adversary. Like, as the hunter. Even when you have four people, Dracula's or... But, you know, Whitechapel, um, his abilities are just a little too powerful, and the AI is not really working together here, clearly. I could get some real friends to uh, play this in real life. Oh. Advanced Influence Checker by one, that might be game. Oh, or do I have to beat him first? That, um, Whitechapel is particularly difficult to, uh, to win, I feel like, um, as the, in that case, like, the detectives hunting down Jack the Ripper. I don't think I've got him. Ooh, garlic, what's that doing? like a protectant in an attack. Recover your damage if it is night and then get raged. Hunter is mesmerized. They are bitten and removed from this combat. Did I already mesmerize him? I think I did. Was not the first thing I did? No, I did strength. Damn it. So I need to do Mesmerize, and then Fangs, and I think I can win the game. Yes, cancel that shit. Because I don't know if you can dodge or Mesmerize. So now if I do Fangs, I believe he's Mesmerized? I think? Don't dodge, don't dodge, don't... I don't know what that means. But do I not get my counter? Aw, oh, the garlic must have... Dang it. And I don't have another fangs, do I?
I, I don't completely understand the mechanics of the combat, like who gets to go first, initiative, and that sort of thing. It just, I'm sure it's in the rules, it's just not exposed enough here to really understand it. It's like, it's all... Okay, so I'm going to try that Mesmerize thing again, except I only have one health now. And I actually started with the right setup, so I Mesmerize. Ah, oh, except they think he punched me. Should have gone with the Fangs to heal. I think he killed my Reckless Vampire, which hopefully doesn't lower the influence track. Just send him backwards. Oh man, they got rid of some of my cards. Come on. I think that might have just got me to 13. So does it immediately end? Oh, is that all I had to do was drop another vampire to move it forward? Alright, I'll take it. Five combats, 5,000 kilometers, 10 damage. Well, this is pretty cool. Uh, I. I definitely want to um, try this with some live people and see how it is. Uh, I'm disappointed that the multiplayer is limited to one-on-one. -on -one. Like if you want to play with a group of people online, especially right now with COVID and everything, and your maybe travel's limited, it would be a great way to, to have a, a fun night with multiple people. But uh, yeah, at the moment it's just one versus one and it sounds like they're working uh, on a, a one versus four mode. So we'll see if that comes about. But this is a pretty fun game. Uh, I, a little quicker than I was expecting. Um, but I think I got kind of lucky there a couple of times. Uh, if you like this, uh, I've got a whole playlist full of like, new games, unreleased games, early access stuff, some VR stuff, some retro gaming, all kinds of stuff. Check out a few if you like them. Think about subscribing. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again for watching, and have a great night, everyone.